Do you remember our last two years at school? In Anne's absence and with Sebastian gone, I stayed at Feldcroft, the only place where I felt comfortable enough after running away from the Gaunts. I overcame what happened, I tried. We got closer, a different closer than what you had with Sebastian. One night, we kissed and things went naturally. You didn't conceive life without me anymore. And after graduating, we called ourselves a couple. Staying in Feldcroft was too much to handle, a constant reminder of the past, of what we had to do with Sebastian in the end. After looking for a place, I got an apology from my family, in their language. We got one of the Gaunt Estates, which I was quickly ready to deny, but you talked sense into me and gave me good reasons. I agreed with you and stayed with it, as always. During school days, herbology and charms were your fortitudes. Anne's unbreakable curse inspired you to consider a career path in healing, and during a visit to St. Mungo's, you knew the choice was made. I became a genealogist. You convinced me that my knowledge and good memory will help people regardless of lineage. One winter night, I took you out for dinner. After some drinks and laughs, I took the box from my jacket pocket and asked you to marry me, apologizing if the ring was slightly different from what I was told. We both moved into my house, now ours. And today, I confirmed the rumors we all have been hearing about. He's out. I heard some people say on the Ministry. He's over with the three years he got. Being a minor and admitting it directly cut out some time. Are you hearing me out, love? Come, darling, sit down. I'll bring some tea. Are you afraid to unearth the feelings you had for him long ago? I... I don't know why. I just have the impression that it would be better to... stay away. You should stay away. Perhaps it's true, and I don't want you to see him. No, he doesn't deserve closure. We don't owe him anything. Look at what he did. He's nothing but a murderer. Anne deserved better. I deserved better. He left me alone. The only person I was sure of. No. I've grown stronger now. Do you think he would be mature and wise? Do you know what Azkaban does to people? He's a threat, darling. It doesn't matter. He would not change. He'll come here trying to find what he gave away years ago. The friend and the lover he traded for a quest of power. But he's 
wrong. He's so wrong. I'm not going to give away what he gave so easily. you want me to say? Don't you realize he's going to show up at our door pretending to be remorseful and you, you are going to believe him. I can't let that happen. Absolutely not. Oh darling, I'll make sure he doesn't step into this house. I learned a thing or two from the Ministry, you know? Do you forget my aptitude for charms? I can manage. Oh, sure I can. I'll always be patient, but I know very well my limits now. No, you're not stepping out either. Then call St. Mungo's and tell them you're sick. Tell them you quit. Then find out what are you going to say because you're staying in, as long as he's roaming the streets. That is not true. Don't say that. You hurt me with those words. I am protecting you for what I couldn't do back then. From the choices he can make, from him. And from what I could do to keep you by my side. 